go. We got to go in on turmeric because every time I post a turmeric video, y'all get mad at me, right? But I'm not going to let people keep lying to themselves, not stating facts, and just talking ridiculously, right? Because what most people do is they comment and they have no research behind it. They just go off of what they've been told, right? They haven't posted any testimonials themselves. So when it comes to turmeric, right? How many of y'all use turmeric? Comment one if you use turmeric, if you think turmeric's healthy or you thought it was healthy. I'm interested to know. What up? You know, it's funny. I thought yesterday was Friday all day. So thanks for that. Happy Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, that video I did on turmeric is like four years old. I've been saying this. I've been saying this, right? <laughs> You're the realest of the game. I appreciate it. I'm always going to keep it real with you. You know people's number one argument when it comes to turmeric? You know what it is? People's number one argument when it comes to turmeric. I didn't want to have to do this. I've done it before, but I guess I got to do it again. Is Indians are so healthy. India. People from India are so healthy. People from India are so healthy. People from India are so healthy because they consume turmeric. Right? People from India are so healthy because they consume turmeric. <laughs> but people don't read. They just talk shit in the comment section. <laughs> they ain't never changed their life. They ain't helped nobody else get rid of diseases. They say, turmeric. I mean, turmeric did this. Turmeric. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. So, okay. All right. Okay. Because people from India are so healthy. You got to remember this. We got to remember how healthy people from India are, right? It's the number one argument when it comes to turmeric. People from India are so healthy. 66% of the population in India is under the age 35, so it is the youngest population in the world. Despite having such a young population, there has been a trend of an increase in the number of health problems in India. Shut up. Fuck up! <laughs> People don't read, they just comment. Indians are they're the healthiest place in the world! India's healthy! India's healthy! Meanwhile, 66% of their population is under 35 years old and suffering from health issues. <laughs> There's more evidence that the number of young people falling sick and developing ailments early in life. There are many leading causes of disease in India. In the recent years, India has one of the highest numbers of patients in the world suffering from chronic illness such as cancer, diabetes, and heart disease, to name a few. India's people from India are so healthy. People from India are so healthy. People from India are so healthy. Somebody just said it one day and everyone ran with it. Everybody from India is healthy. Turmeric and curry, it's the key to health. Everyone in India is so healthy. Everyone in India is so healthy. But everyone in India is ever, almost everyone is under the age of 35 and they're all suffering from disease. <laughs> I'm crazy though. I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm insane. <laughs> you understand? Comment one if you feel what I'm saying. It's funny. All you can do is laugh. This is what happens. People comment ignorant comments without researching, failing. I spend my whole life doing this and actually posting the healing testimonials, right? And then when they have the answer to it with facts, everyone gets really quiet, right? All of a sudden, everyone's super quiet. <laughs> and they disappear. When I say go live with me and debate me in a two-hour live debate, and let's have the audience do a poll on who they feel won the debate and provided the most facts and proof. And if you want to debate me, to even be qualified to debate me, you have to be able to post at least half the amount of testimonials that I've ever posted, which you probably can't. <laughs> so you don't even qualify for the debate. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Somebody said, sick him, t Walk." <laughs> Man, t Walk, you want the best herbalist in the game. You know your stuff. I would never just make up stuff, right? I would never do that. So, people's argument, India, the healthiest place in the world. We just established 
66% of India's population is under 35 years old, which is extremely young, right? And they have an, a, a staggering rate of disease. We already established that. The next argument, when I post a turmeric video, which really lets me know people, <laughs> which really lets me know people just be typing. The other big thing I get when I talk about turmeric is, we don't trust you. We need your sources. Only person we respect is Dr. Sebi. We respect Dr. Sebi. Doesn't this go against Dr. Sebi's teaching? Doesn't this go against Dr. Sebi's teaching? We only respect Dr. Sebi. We only respect Dr. Sebi. So whatever, whatever bullshit you talking about, T-Walk, yeah, unfollow. Yeah, Dr. Sebi, unfollow. Dr. Sebi would never. When it comes to tumor, Dr. Sebi. It offers curry, which is part of ours. That's bad. <laughs> Don't you know the one turn of war the other says, an Indian, Dr. Kai? <laughs> Man, what kind of nonsense are you talking about, Sebi? I say, it is, not, it is nonsense. One third of the world. <laughs> And then Dr. Savy said tumor's good. Dr. Savy, you ain't Dr. Savy. We only listen to Dr. Savy. <laughs> it offers curry, which is part of ours. That's bad. Don't you know the one turn of war the other says, an Indian, Dr. Kai? Man, what kind of nonsense are you talking about, Savy? I say, it is, not, it is nonsense. One third of the war the other says, patients are Indian. Because they eat curry, and curry is made up of polymers. What are polymers? Uh, Turmeric, paprika, what? and cumin. Huh? They aren't any what? Oh my goodness! I can't believe he would say such a thing. <laughs> so that negates that argument, right? So we already knocked out India is the healthiest place in the world. Defeated. That's done. We scrap that. What's your next dispute? Doctor Sabi would never. <laughs> Scrap that. <laughs> What's your next dispute? <laughs> Yo, the world is crazy. People don't read, they just talk. The number of Indians suffering from cancer. Oh, this is another one. This is another one. I got a comment today. Yeah, I got a comment today. And I always get it. No, you're wrong. Turmeric is the reason. <laughs> Turmeric is the reason why India is having such a dramatic decrease yearly from cancer. India has a dramatic, dramatically low amounts of cancer. India has a dramatically low amounts of cancer and it's constantly decreasing. The number of Indians suffering from cancer is projected to increase to 29.8 million in 2025 to, from 20. So it's going to increase about 3 million. The highest incidence last year was it was higher amongst men. According to a report by the Indian Council for Research, the burden of cancer in India, it's a really big issue over there. Seven cancers accumulate for more than 40% of total disease burden. Okay. So now, turmeric stops cancer. That's why India's rates of cancer are so low and decreasing. Ball that up. Throw that out the door. What's your next debate? Come on. Like what? Everything you say, I will gladly go live and show you how wrong you are. And the people who say I'm wrong, let's be honest, most of you are unhealthy. The people that are unhealthiest, I can just see by the profile picture alone. It tells me everything I need to know. See one glance at your profile picture, 40% body fat. You don't know what you're talking about, T-Walk. There's no way I could ever debate someone about health that's 40% body fat or above. It's not even, that would be insanity for me to, that would be like me, that would be like me having a debate with Elon Musk about <laughs> how to get the space. Like, not nah, Elon, like, I get what you're saying, but you're wrong because I have a better understanding. Trust, trust me, Elon. We gonna get this base. We gonna get the Mars, Neptune, Pluto. If you just listen to me, right? <laughs> That's what's going on, right? Hey, Bill Gates. Like, listen. I know you've been around a while, but when it comes to this investing thing, I'm the go-to. Like, I, I know you got billions and billions, and you've been flipping bread for debt. Trust me. <laughs> The world is insane. The world is insane, right? Don't trust the person posting brand new testimonials every single day for three years and seven months straight, never missing a day. Nobody's ever done that. Not Dr. Sabi, not Dr. Laida Africa, not Dr. Robert Morris, not none of your favorite influencers. And it's never been done. And I'll leave the names in them to verify the real. Let's be honest. It's never been done. It is what it is. 
Let's be clear. All right. Don't trust that person. Trust the doctor in <laughs> this viral video, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, should I keep going or are we good? We good? You good? So you say, there's nothing that says anything. Okay. Lady today commented, I believe on a turmeric video, says, uh, no, turmeric's in my, I grow turmeric's in my backyard or I'm in Jamaica. It's there where I live in this country. It's there. What do you mean it doesn't grow in the wild? That's false. It does so. I grew it. <laughs> you don't provide any sources or facts. As I pin the sources and facts that you can type in and find the source of what I, but nobody wants to put in the work. They just want to. Is one of, right? So here are your sources and facts that I also provided for you and pinned in the comment section, right? Hold up, was there one other thing? Okay. The bright yellow spices is talking about curry and dyes come from the underground stems, rhizomes of the turmeric plant. What's the next paragraph? That's false. It's been grown in the wild here since I was a, uh, since I was a jit, since I was a little jit. Since I just took off with a kick man, 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 man. right? <laughs> Not known to grow in the wild. Turmeric is a domesticated plant that is widely cultivated throughout the tropics. So we've now confirmed that I was right about it not growing in the wild. Are y'all catching my drift? Comment one if you're catching my drift. That, okay, so now we go. Plants are considered domesticated when their life cycle, behavior, and appearance has been significantly altered. Y'all, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Nah, 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 nah. Comment some once. Sig what does it say after significantly altered? Not just significantly altered just from naturally. It's not just naturally significantly altered. Huh? Plants are considered domesticated when their life cycle, behavior, and appearance has been significantly altered as a result of being under artificial selection by humans for multiple generations. By humans artificially. You, hey, you know how you could have found the answer? You know how you could have found the answer to find out that humans artificially altered turmeric? And that it doesn't grow in the wild, you could have used artificial intelligence and chat GBT that shit instead of comment and looking like a dumbass <laughs> in my comment section. You could have used artificial intelligence to understand that turmeric is only here due to <laughs> artificial <laughs> intelligence of humans. <laughs> chat GPT would have confirmed everything I said on that. Huh? So, oh shit, I played it. Do I have the turmeric video? On my phone. Let me see where it's at. This video is from like four years ago. My virtual assistant. I didn't even know he was posting it. Every time he put my virtual assistant posted, I know it because I get an influx of mean comments telling me I ain't shit and I'm the dumbest person on earth. <laughs> and today I say that affects my life none. If you choose to unfollow me, it affects your life a lot. Um, maybe it's this video. Oh yeah, there it goes. Right. So let's go through the video and then let's look at some things, right? Turmeric is not healthy as a hybrid man-made GMO food, meaning they bind two different seeds together in a lab with a starch. Starch is a chemical, not a nutrient. Starch is a sugar. Sugar is a glue. That's why they call it gluten. It glues unnatural things together. Starch glues to your organs, which stops oxygen from reaching them, which causes cell erosion. Turmeric so caustic, it can actually stain stainless steel. Anything that contains starch also contains cyanide. Cyanide is poisonous to the body and cannot be digested. Please use ginger instead of turmeric. Comment the flex emoji this help. Okay, that's an older video. I think the one I posted out there was longer and more detailed, right? So then after what I say, you know, I said sources. So I give sources and direct quotes from peer-reviewed studies on the internet, right? Turmeric rhizomes contain about 40% starch. Remember I said starch, it contains starch. It doesn't contain starch. Turmeric ain't starch. This is not flour. What are you talking about? This is a healthy root. This is not starch. <laughs> Turmeric rhizomes contain about 40% starch. It mainly consists of carbs and mostly starch. Easily researchable peer-reviewed study facts. <laughs> Turmeric's a hybrid. Turmeric's not a hybrid. 
Hybrids are actually not even that bad for you. Hybrids are devoid of proper mineral balance that all wild foods contain. So when you eat a lot of hybrid roots, they lead to mineral deficiencies. Correct the mundo again, right? <laughs> so easily researchable facts that hybrids are deplete of nutrients. Easily researchable facts. You could chat GBT it. You could Google it. You can do deep dives into peer-reviewed studies. It's all going to say the same thing, right? <clears throat> I say it doesn't grow naturally in the wild, and it was artificially artificially changed by humans and cultivated, right? That's not. No, it's not. It's been around for 2,000 years. No, 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 it's not. It's not. <laughs> Is the seedless plant, therefore, its expansion across Asia and Africa is due entirely, 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 entirely to its cultivation by humans and doesn't exist in the wild. It 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 doesn't exist in the wild. Easily researchable, peer-reviewed facts. But it's in my backyard. What are you talking about? Somebody comment one. If you're paying attention. I know you hate me, but I'd never lie to you. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> I get a lot of people lie and make up shit for viral content. I'm not him. Okay. <sighs> not a hybrid. No, it's not. Turmeric is probably only vegetable because it's a sterile hybrid between, well, human species probably between, probably, they don't even know. It's probably between this and that. We don't really know, but eat it. It's going to save your life like it does everybody in India, even though 66% of their population is 35 and younger, and they're really suffering from a lot of chronic diseases and the highest rates of kidney disease and people on dialysis. Trust us. Trust us. If you haven't learned anything in life, just trust us. We got the, we're looking out for you. <laughs> Text the word T-Walk, T-W-A-L-K, to the phone number 41372. Get that free guide of foods to eat, foods to avoid if you haven't yet. You might want to join a university so you can learn what's helping these people get rid of these illnesses and diseases. You might. Or just keep calling me crazy. Right? Hey, who wants to debate me? I'm, I'm open for a debate if you qualify and most people don't. Right? <clears throat> starch again. Remember at the top, tumor ribosomes contain about 40% starch. It mainly consists of carbs and mostly starch. Right? <clears throat> Starch molecule is a polysaccharide assembled from the simple sugar glucose. Remember I said, remember I said, turmeric is glucose and glue binds it together. And remember I said that in the video that I just played, right? Starch is a molecule. It's a polysaccharide assimilated from the simple sugar glucose. Starchy plants can raise your blood sugar levels faster than others. <clears throat> Could be a reason why India, who you all say is the healthiest place in the world, has really high rates of Diabetes, which then leads to their really, really high rates of kidney disease. <clears throat> they eat curry every day. It's the best thing in the world. Healthy. Shut up. All right. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. India currently has the highest amounts of kidney failure deaths as of 2018. And they still do. It's not changed. It's actually, they're actually about to lap everyone else, right? It's getting, it's getting more. So what else? You see now on this live, there's no comment saying you're wrong. Because when I go live and I talk about it and I provide the facts, everybody who says I was wrong, they just get really quiet and they have no value to bring to the world. <laughs> it's hilarious. I just wanted to do that real quick. Y'all know what to do. Text the word T-Walk to the phone number 41372. Get that free guide of foods to eat, foods to avoid. Join the Holistic Health University where I give you these detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. As I've been able to post testimonials for three years, seven months straight, never miss a day. You might want to listen to me. You might. You might want to listen to the person who took his health from all these diseases the doctors told me I was stuck with to perfect health. No pills, no therapist, no nothing. Got rid of everything. And now has produced these dramatic testimonials for almost four years straight. Or you can always listen to your doctor. All right. Because the doctor says take it. You should probably take it. Right. Even though it's not going to fix anything. What it's going to do is, it's going to be like, it's like your car's check engine lights on and you got a homie that knows, <laughs> that knows how to work on cars. So because you wanted to pass the inspection at the DMV, you say, hey, can you take this check engine light off for me? <laughs> cool. 
and then you <coughs> continue to utilize this car, which you know has a damaged in, in, engine, but because you had something masked, the fact that the image is fucked up and it's gonna, the car's gonna break down soon and die, you're just gonna act like it ain't happening. So take the pills, mask the real issue, do the wrong things, consume the wrong things and mask the real issue, which may give you temporary benefits like turmeric, but long term, it's not gonna fix that engine. And eventually, your body, your car is going to break down and you have to come to the to the understanding that, damn, I was acting like shit was sweet this whole time, but now it's not. Oh, shit. And you know what the funny thing is? It takes the world, it takes people getting pushed to the ultimate desperation to finally come to the truth. You have to get pushed. What I realize is you have to get pushed to desperation to finally come to your senses. You realize that? Throughout life, you'll go to the doctors, you'll take the pills, you'll do these weird therapies they recommend, right? You know, you, you eat the unhealthy stuff because it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I eat this. I know, but it's fine, right? But then when dramatic things happen, that's when you come to your senses, so when you get diagnosed with cancer, diabetes, all these health issues, the doctors putting you on these pills are not working, chemo is not working. Or before you even get to that step, you come to the realization, like, oh my goodness, it's real, it's not fine. And then you all you automatically turn from the standard healthcare practices and you immediately go to, I need to go the holistic approach because I know those doctors ain't shit and I know those pills ain't shit and I know that food wasn't shit this whole damn time. T-Walk, you think you could do, is there anything you could do for me and my family and my mom and my kid? Please, 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 please. It takes dramatic things to happen for you to come to an honest and open conversation with yourself and get to that realization that what the truth was the whole time. It's facts. This is my messages all day, every day. This is my messages all day, every day, my emails, my comments all day, every day. T-Walk, I just got found out I got stage three cancer. T-Walk, my mom has brain cancer. T-Walk, I got herpes. T-Walk, I got this outbreak, there's bumps all over my ball. T-Walk, please, I'm in the hospital right now. T-Walk, I know I messaged you two years ago and, and I was going to do it and stuff, but you know, I was still just doing my thing and I thought I was good and I've been working out and I got a personal trainer and stuff, but man, now I got diabetes. I don't understand. I don't understand. T-Walk, please, 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 please. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I say relax. Just click the link in the bio, join the Holistic Health University, get your protocol ASAP. Relax. You made a lot of bad decisions. I'm glad you came to the conclusion of that. But you don't have to do anything. I don't need any weird gestures. Just get your protocol in the university and get to it. Be as strict as possible, and I assure you, you will get the results. Just like the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of other testimonials that I posted for three years and seven months straight. It'll be three years and eight months straight in a week and a half keep track on my calendar. I never miss a day, no matter where I'm at, no matter what's going on in my life, there's going to be a new testimony. Right? Relax. Take it easy, bro. You ain't got to do anything. All right? Stop acting like a crackhead and just, <laughs> just get that protocol. You know, I joke a lot. I had comedy just to lighten the mood because a lot of this stuff is really sad. The world is really sad. It's a sad, sick setup. Y'all know my phrase. They want you sick, broke, stupid, and soft. That is the goal. The broker, the sicker, the stupider, the softer you are, the easier it is for them to make billions and billions off of you and keep you working for them and keep you trucked in, trapped in their rat race and their hamster wheel and their crab in a barrel mentality they want you in while they run shit, push pills to you, push unhealthy foods to you, spend billions, spend billions on SEO, if you don't know what SEO is, search engine optimization, they spend billions on search engine optimization, which means that whatever they want to come up when you're searching it will come up because they spend billions on that. So they have huge teams that are highly accelerated when it comes to the knowledge of the internet. So that therefore, when you search, is chicken healthy? Chicken is healthy. It's a great source of protein and it has all these blah, 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 because they wanted you to see that, right? <laughs> you don't get to search and find the truth because we control the truth too. You know that, right? Comment one if you, if you know that. I hope you know that, right? 
It's like, no, I Googled it. First thing that came up, healthy. You could probably search our fruit roll-ups healthy. You'd probably say, well, they do have certain benefits because of the chewiness of it. It actually helps strengthen your jaw muscles and your... You know that, right? They spend billions on SEO, search engine optimization. So then when you search, search now, probably search Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi was a quack who was arrested and he falsified this and that and he didn't know that he was out of action. It's going to say all the worst things. When I post a video about Dr. Sabi, they immediately gray it out lately. My last two times I posted them, they gray it out. Say false information, and you click CY, and you click CY, and they have a whole fact checker article discrediting everything he's ever done in his life. <laughs> right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna let y'all later. Just need to have that talk. All right. Turmeric sucks. And I know you hate me because of it, but I assure you, I only have your best interests. And I want the best for you. And I want you to live a longer, healthier, more functional life of freedom and finances. That is my goal and my reason for being on this earth. Holla at y'all later. Y'all know my phrase. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Because it's that simple. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done. No excuses. Nothing to it but to do it. Point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. Take accountability. Text that word T-Walk to 41372 if you haven't yet. Get that free guide of Foods Deep Foods Avoid and the link to my university. Look at that. What about fresh turmeric? What the hell does it? <laughs> well, if it's fresh, that changes everything. It changes the whole chemistry of everything that I just said in all the studies because it's fresh. It ain't been set for two weeks. It's fresh. fresh. <laughs> Pay attention. I'm out on that note. Y'all clearly ain't listening. <laughs> uh.